Hi there, it's Stephanie. So I demonstrated the course that you're seeing here a couple of months ago during a session and I did so because of its note-taking ability. A few people asked how I actually built it and I'm sorry it's taken so long but I'm just getting around to showing you how I did that now. Below you'll see that there are links to the original uh, Storyline source file as well as the published output for your reference. And also note that I'm going to do this screener in two parts. Part one, I'll show you what the functionality is. And part two, I'll show you how I did it. So this course, again, uh, was built for a client. Its functionality has been stripped down quite dramatically just to protect the client's information. Uh, the home screen or the welcome screen has choices that the, that the user would have to go through. Once they've done that, then they're prompted to go to the elevator. The elevator contains information, well, basically six floors that a user has to visit, and each floor is a policy that they need to uh, take a look at. So, in this case, we're going to go to floor number two. A little jazzy music plays in the background for the, uh, the real course, and then that flips over to the beginning of floor number two. Again, some graphics have been taken out of this uh, to protect the client's information. Also, activities at this point, a user would go through a series of activities, video interactions, things like that. Once they've completed that, then nearing the end of the floor, they're prompted to, to type in their thoughts. So in this case, it says, well, what kind of situations would you report related to the policy that they're looking at? So the idea of the note taking is that it gives the users, a, um, um, I'm just going to type, it's hard to type and talk at the same time. A uh, chance to take their own notes uh, during a course and type in their own thoughts without being presented with choices that they have to select from. So it's open-ended and it's a pause for ref reflection. Once they type in their information, they click continue. And then the screen that follows with voiceover and other information basically says on the left-hand side, here's what we heard you say, and it just brings forward what they typed. And on the right hand side it says, and here's what the policy says. So indirectly we're asking them to compare what their thinking is to what the policy is. And hopefully they're pretty close. But it isn't a right or wrong necessarily. It's just an opportunity for them to digest the information that they've learned to this point in a bit more of a subtle fashion than a multiple choice or a multiple response quiz question would do. Once they finish the floor, they're taken back to the elevator, and once they finished all the floors, then they're prompted to choose some options that appear on the left-hand side. In this demonstration, we're going to go to the My Notes section, and you'll see here, this is where all the notes are collected for the whole course. In this case, there are three different opportunities to take in, take in notes or type in notes for the user. We did, uh, I just demonstrated the second opportunity here. And then on this screen, they can also type in um, other information that they um, that they want to. So anything that they want to uh, record as part of their learning in this course, they can just quickly jot those notes down. And then at this point, they have the option of either emailing it or printing these notes. So if I click on print, you'll see a pop-up window appears with a title, a date. It has the three notes, note areas, and the user's own notes. They can click the my uh, print my notes button, and then that goes off to their printer. Same thing with the email. They can just type in their email address, click the email button, email window pops up with all the same information, and then they can send that email to themselves. So that's the idea of the note-taking ability in this course, and in the second screener, I'll show you how I did it.